Mom by Sturgill Simpson is going to be played in standard tuning, and in this tutorial I'll be giving you an idea of how to approach the version that you hear being played on Cut and Grass Volume 1. That version of the song is using a full bluegrass ensemble, and uh, hopefully I'll give you a couple of ideas of how to approach that sound. The intro begins, uh, you can hear an acoustic guitar do that. Uh, so what that is, is I've got a C chord, I've got my uh, ring finger on the 6th string 3 fret, my pinky finger on the 5 string 3 fret, my 2nd finger on the 4 string 2 fret, my, uh, I've got an open 3 string, my 1st finger on the 2 string 1 fret, and an open 1 string. To play that opening lick, I'm going 5 string, 4 string, and then strumming strings 3 and 2 together. And I'll show you what the other guitar is doing in a minute. Um, after that first opening chord, you go to an A minor. That's an open 5 string. Your second finger is still going to remain on the 4 string 2 fret, but you'll be lifting your ring and pinky fingers out of your C chord formation. And you'll bring your ring finger up to the 3 string 2 fret. Your first finger still needs to be on the 2 string 1 fret from your opening C chord. And you'll go 5, 4, 3, 2. 5, 4, 3, 2. So you're going from to the A minor, and then back up to the C. The second time on the C, you can hear the guitar more distinctly pluck out all four strings, the 5, 4, 3, 2, just like you did in the A minor. And then you go back down to the A minor. And you can hear the acoustic guitar after the uh, second time on the A minor go something like... Or... So the way that I'm doing that, I don't know that this is precisely how it's getting played. It might just be lifting the first finger off of the second string in the A minor and doing that, but for some reason that feels a bit more right to me maybe for the voicing. I've gone with my ring finger to the four string five fret. My second finger is going down to the three string four fret. I'm striking the open five string with my pick, strumming down to the three string where my second finger is on the three string four fret. And then I'm putting my pinky finger down on the three string five fret and strumming again. And on that second strum, you may just want to hit the four and three strings. So uh, five, four, three to just four, three, where you're putting your pinky finger down on the three string five fret. And then we get into the verse. Let me go ahead and talk about what the second guitar is doing in this intro. So you've got the one guitar that's playing the full-throated C chord to the A minor chord. Another guitar is going... So the way that these voicings are happening is I've got my ring finger on the 4-string 10 fret. I'm leaving the 3-string open. And I've got my first finger barring the, what is this, the 8th fret of strings 1 and 2. Now, I'm not 100% sure that this is the correct voicing, but I think it definitely gets the job done. And so, on the first lick, I'm just following this guitar part down by going 4-string, uh, 3-string, 2-string, 1-string. And then, then it up-picks across strings 1, 2, and 3, and sometimes probably getting back down to 4. Like one two three one two three, or maybe one two four one two four, something like that. And then it goes down to an A minor voicing. The way that's going to get played is ring finger slides down to the four string seven fret, and your first finger needs to bar the five fret of strings three two and one, and then the same feel. You go up the uh, the four three two one and then kind of jingle your way back down. One, two, three, one, two, three, or something along those lines. Maybe like four, one, two, three, one, two, three. But you get that feel. Um, and then it does that back and forth uh, a couple times. The There's a mandolin part in there as well that's like, 
was how I was trying to mimic it in the intro. That's one string, and of course it doesn't sound perfect on the guitar because a mandolin's got doubled strings, and it's also, I'm pretty sure that mandolin is playing a chord instead of just one note. But I'm going one string, what is this, one string, eight fret, and I'm trying to pick down and up on it real fast. But anyway, uh, one string, eight fret, to one string, 12 fret, to one string, seven fret, one string, five fret. And then one string, three fret, two string, five fret. Something along those lines. All right, so once all that intro is done, uh, I'll get back to the main guitar here. Uh, and the chords that he's playing in the verse will be a, a C. And the strumming pattern falls into a two beat bass feel where you're going like one down up. One down up, 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 two down up, three down up, four down up. And on the numbers, so one down up, two down up, three down up, four down up, you'll be hitting an alternating string each time. So the first time inside of the C chord, it's the same C chord as earlier, you're hitting the five string, which is the C note, five string three fret. So one down up. The next down, which is a two, will hit the six string three fret where your ring finger is. get a little bit more strummy with it as well. I'm going like down, down, up, down, down, up, down. to the open five string second fret with your second finger and then move into the A minor out of the C. Sometimes moving to that A minor it goes it walks up to it with an open six string first finger to six string one fret second finger to six string two fret third finger to six string three fret and then fall into the A minor it's something like this very slow and the picking would be just down up down up down up down down up and you immediately fall back into that open five open six open five open six back into the C back to the A minor after the second time here, it goes to a G chord. So the G chord is going to be, uh, you, can, uh, you can walk up into that with an open six string, six string, second fret, six string, three fret. And I'm using my ring finger the whole time there. Uh, and then just pull into a normal G chord. And here you're alternating six string, three fret to the four string open. to an F chord to the A minor chord. So the F chord, the way that I'm going to play it, is you can just play a traditional F bar chord if you want to. I tend to grab the 6 string 1 fret with my thumb, go with my ring finger to the 5 string 3 fret, go with my pinky finger to the 4 string 3 fret. Uh, I usually leave the 3 string open and then first finger to the 2 string 1 fret. And here I'm alternating 6 string 5 string. So we've gone out of the G chord to the F chord, back to the A minor chord, walk back up to the G, and then you can hear a little riff there that is happening in the turnaround before you get back to the C chord where the verse starts over. Now what that turnaround is is something like... So out of the G chord, there are a couple of ways to approach this. You can either 
either hammer with your first finger to the one string one fret, I'm sorry, to the five string one fret, and then hit the open four string and hammer with your second finger to the four string two fret, so I've gone, and then hit the open three, and then go back to hammer four string two fret, open four string, and then go into the C by going 5 string 2 fret, 5 string 3 fret. So that would be. The only difference, or the, the difference in variant that you can hear there is maybe it's not hammering the one string, maybe it instead is going hammer the two string. I, I'm sorry, maybe it's not hammering the 5 string 1 fret. Maybe it's hammering the 5 string 2 fret. Maybe it's hammering from the 5 string 1 fret to the 5 string 2 fret. So that first little hammer could have some variant or some variation on it from either to to either way that you want to approach that as long as you kind of get that feel of a short little riff up to an open 3 string and then walk it back down into the C is what's happening there. And it repeats C. This is the second verse, back to the A minor. Comes back down to the G. to the A minor again, and then G chord. And here on the G chord, this time is where the chorus begins. The chorus will be G chord, to the F chord, back to the G chord, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, back to the F chord, four A minor. That G chord comes back in here again, and then come back up to the C chord and you've got a lead break that occurs there. And then it just goes back into another verse and another chorus. Um, was there anything else to mention here? So in the intro, uh, those other guitars, I was just playing different voicings. So I've already talked about the voicing of that C chord. Sometimes I played that C voicing, which is just a D chord that is brought all the way up to originate on the 12th fret. So first finger to the three string 12th fret, ring finger to the two string 13th fret, uh, second finger to the one string 12th fret. I did that some, that A minor, that voicing or this voicing, which is like a D minor shape, just brought up to originate with your second finger on the three string, uh, what is that, nine fret, to ring finger on the two string 10th fret, first finger on the one string 8th fret. So we talked about that C, we talked about that C, we talked about that A minor, we talked about that A minor. Uh, another C that I was doing sometimes was that one. That would be ring finger on the 4 string 5 fret, pinky finger on the 3 string 5 fret, first finger barring the 3rd fret of strings 1 and 2. I think those were all the voicings that I did. I might have done that G voicing right there, which is a D chord. Just pull it up to the, uh, what is that, the seventh fret. Like we pulled this D shape up to the 12th fret to make a C. You take a D shape and you pull it up to the seventh fret that makes a G. So those are the chords and the movements to I Don't Mind by Sturgill Simpson from Cutting the Grass Volume 1, or, or Cutting Grass Volume 1. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.